What's good, Charles? Boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out ten more iconic wrestling entrance quirks, man. One thing we all know when it comes to wrestlers and their overall package, the entrances make they, they they matter. If you have a good entrance, it can definitely help your overall appearance as a wrestler, especially if someone who doesn't really know you like that, but you have a cool interest. Uh, entrance they'll be more interested in seeing what you can do in the ring you know and then they all you know wrestlers have those little quirks little moments where they do these entrances and there's always like a thing that they say and or do for example when cm punk came out there for the longest he was doing the uh it's clobbering time you know he would say that and you know people would actually start joining in on saying it's clobbering time so uh yeah man this this should be a, a interesting video appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel man let's check this out One, is this on? An entrance is often the most exciting part of a wrestler's presentation. Mm -hmm. Whether it's through their music, pyro, or the specific things the wrestler does to make them stand out. The unique ways in which wrestlers <laughs> differentiate their <laughs> entrance is what we'll discuss today as we look at 10 more iconic wrestling entrance quirks. Number one, Triple H spits yep, water. The, water. the game took such a basic action like drinking water on his yep. way to the ring and made it something special. Triple H initially just took a few sips of the bottle, poured it over his head and then threw it away before entering the ring like normal. This eventually evolved into him mm -hmm. spitting water up in the air to create the awesome visual we mm -hmm. all recognize today. How many of us done that? <laughs> just comment down below. Let me know how many of y'all have hit the Triple H entrance. Just, just spray the water everywhere, man. <laughs> the game is back. <laughs> From the harsh lighting to the wide camera shot, followed by the close up that syncs so well with the music. I've had people ask me, like, what do you hold in your mouth that makes the water spray out like that? And I'm like, I'm like water in my mouth. All of this helped make Triple H's entrance truly spectacular. Yeah. Stop it right there. Shut the music down. I ain't got time to watch you spray that stupid ass water all over the crowd. I, I was hoping he was going to have that clip. I love that clip of Stoke. Cut his fucking music. I'm tired of you doing that crap. Mr. Perfect chews gum. Sometimes it's also the little things that help make an entrance. Various mm -hmm. wrestlers have chewed gum on their way to the ring down the years, but none did it as cool as Mr. Perfect. Press the, hitman heart. the way he would spit the gum out and then slap it away was just mm -hmm. brilliant, especially given the expert timing required to catch the gum before mm -hmm. it hit the ground. Has anyone ever filmed the people that the gum lands on? I would like to say it would be the first one to make a mistake, but... <laughs> Perfect was even able to catch other wrestlers' gum in his own mouth. Mr. Perfect Whoa. also had Jedi Master like control when it came to throwing a towel, especially <laughs> when he'd throw it up in the air from behind and catch it perfectly every time. Number three, Kane's Pyro. Kane's Pyro certainly got people out of their seats. Yep. The fire shooting out of the ring posts like cannons quickly became a staple of Kane's entrance. The big red machine had some of the loudest pyro in wrestling. It was always, always cool to see it. Which usually gave the fans, announcers, <laughs> and sometimes even wrestlers, a jump scare any time Kane came out. <laughs> yes, no chemical, yes! Yes! Of this nature Love isn't it. without its dangers, though, which is why you'll notice the people in the ring standing away from Kane's pyro any time it goes off. Mm -hmm. Big red monster, look out! Uh, there should have been some big explosions and some fire. Danger oh, wow. King. There we go. <laughs> Number four, Bret Hart gives sunglasses to a kid. Involving the crowd is a great way to add to an entrance. This can be by encouraging chants or making fans part of the show. Bret mm -hmm. Hart was loved by people of all ages. It was incredibly heartwarming anytime the hitman gifted his sunglasses to a member of the audience. The young fans' reaction said it all, as mm -hmm. they just experienced the moment they would remember for the rest of their lives. Gives this little lady just as he did a moment ago. That's the effect of it. 
<laughs> oh my five, god, that's Rey adorable. Mysterio jumps out of the stage. Just like Brett, Mysterio was also a massive fan favorite. Rey's mm -hmm. special connection with the fans could be seen when he made his entrance, especially when he would share a moment by gifting fans with one of his masks and giving them words of encouragement. I love you, yes. <laughs> He's gonna love you. <laughs> But earlier in his WWE career, Ray wowed audiences yeah, by jumping from the Yeah, stage. that was always dope. And all of a sudden, he just pops up, launched into the air. The way Mysterio leaped into the air like That's a superhero so dope. made him feel larger than life. He lands every single time like a real life superhero. His entrance perfectly complemented his mass character and high flying in ring style. <laughs> yeah. That was always six, cool to see Eddie that. Guerrero driving a low rider. Rest Eddie peace, lit Eddie, up man. SmackDown during the ruthless aggression era. We all loved his matches and segments, but Guerrero also entertained us with his entrance by driving to the ring in a low rider. That's so cool. Even though sometimes it got damaged or even stolen, Eddie always had a new ride the next week. Yep, that's what made it cool. He always had a different whip. Latino he also welcomed a host of different passengers on board. Number seven, so the Undertaker rides a motorcycle. The dead man made his mark in the Attitude Era by driving a motorcycle. He's to rolling, the rolling, to rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> The biker persona helped reinvent Taker, and a big part of this was his entrance. Mm -hmm. Here comes. Riding to the ring with Kid Rock or Limp Biscuit as his theme music, the Phenom never looked cooler. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Number eight, Stacy Keebler entering the ring. Oh, brother. <laughs> Stacey oh my goodness! Way of entering the ring that had the cameraman scrambling to get in position while Jerry Lawler went nuts on commentary. Ah! Oh, this baby, my favorite man, come on, the cameraman camera never man. seemed to get the exact <laughs> angle the king was looking for. <laughs> Why is the cameraman not in the right place? However, the WWE video games <clears throat> make sure to get the right angle though, so you can guess who Lawler was playing as. Number nine, <laughs> Melina does the oh, splits. Yeah, Melina's Melina impressive splits. flexibility was on display as she entered the ring by performing mm. the splits. The fabulous Lula, Leilani Kai, Alundra Blade. The paparazzi made sure to get the best shots of her as she walked down the ramp. <laughs> the WWE's cameraman was in position to record the splits. Unlike with Stacey though, Lola didn't go as crazy for Melina's entrance given she joined the Raw roster at a time when King was in the process of toning down his character. Yes she was and that's very impressive as well. <laughs> <laughs> Number 10, Stone Cold talks trash. From the mm -hmm. moment the glass broke and Austin walked through the curtain, he became Stone Cold. Yep. Austin came to the ring with a purpose, talking trash as he walked down the ramp <laughs> and entered the ring. <laughs> I love it. all four turnbuckles with his middle fingers raised while yep. swearing the whole time. The cameras were never able to pick up Austin's cursing, which meant he had free reign to say whatever he liked. It was just a constant stream of F-bombs. Yeah, that's right, motherfuckers. About to tear this motherfucker down. It was just that. Walk to the ring with that bad motherfucker walk because he was sending a message to the other guy in that ring. I'm fixing to whip your fucking ass. I All love I was it. You got that shit right, motherfuckers. <laughs> I fucking love Stone Cold. That's why I love him, bro. He's the greatest. One of the greatest. I always wanted to know what Stone Cold was saying. I knew it wasn't uh, family friendly, but I always wanted to know what he would be saying walking down the ramp and to know he was just talking trash, cursing up a storm. I'm about to whoop this MFers ass. I don't give a F. I'm about to tear some S up. Oh, I love, oh, I love it. Just, this is why he's one of my favorites, man. Got that shit right. We're going to raise hell up in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I love and that it. brings us 
for the oh, end of this video. As this always, is if great, you enjoyed man. the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you like this one, be sure to check out our <clears> first <throat> installment of 10 iconic resting entrance quirk. This was great, man. Love it, bro. Love it, love it, love it, love it, man. I, I may have to check out uh um the other video of the 10 iconic wrestling quirks if you guys want me to make sure you hit that like button i definitely will check out the other part but this was great this was this was very uh fan i i love little tidbit videos like this it just makes you appreciate the wrestler and their and their overall like their their you know their appearance and what what goes into making them our fan favorites you know so comment down below let me know who had like who's your favorite wrestler like entrance like what wrestler um entrance do you love the most let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel road to 150k appreciate y'all keeping me see you on next one peace